When the city of Salem, Massachusetts announced plans to transform its Registry of Deeds building into a new and modern courthouse, the project became the ideal showcase for the Latacrete Supercap system. Part of Salem's nationally registered Federal Street District, the building was completed in 1909. More than a century later, the demolition process revealed a number of unexpected issues, and general contractor W.T. Rich reached out to New England's exclusive Latacrete Supercap applicator, Allegheny Contract. When they started the renovations, they started the, um, the demolition, they realized that the topping slab was, uh, was failing. They came back in here and they tried to use a system where it was the old school system, small bags, and it would take them probably a month just to pour the concrete. They came in, they did some testing, whatever, and they weren't happy with the results. We came in here, you know, as you saw, the, the, the floor was very unlevel, um, and we took pins and we placed them at all different increments, so we're pouring um, very different heights, and uh, yet we're, they're all at the exact same elevation. Today we're pouring approximately 10,000 square feet at an inch and a half deep thickness. It's going to translate into about 3,500 small bags, which would have taken us you know, a couple of years ago, um, when we were using the small bag technology, it would have taken us probably a day, day and a half, just to get material in the building. Everyone that I've asked today if they thought it was going to go like it's going, told me no. They couldn't believe at the speed and the quality, the flatness of the floor, and what they were just used to just a few hours ago. The impact on the project is felt by every trade and, of course, the general contractor, who knows firsthand what the Latacrete Supercap system means to the project's costs and workflow. So far, the experience has been uh, great. We've had a good, it looks like a good product. We're getting it in quick. No dust, one day install. Everything seems to be working just fine. Um, it's not necessarily the cost of the material or our, our procedure, but it's the cost of their schedule when we compress it, you know, maybe two weeks or three weeks or a month. Um, you know, it's, it's huge to them. The most important part about this is we're able to get in and we've still got contractors working around us. As you can see, there's no dust here. They have no problems working above us. There's people working in the attic and they're working below us. So the job is still progressing has no effect to any of the other subcontractors except for the area we're working in. The best part about it is I can start regular uh, work up here on Monday morning. One of the advantages of Supercap is, is we can come in into a renovation like this and do 10,000, 20,000 square feet um, with no issue at all. Or we can do a 30-story building in Boston um, or um, over, over the um, Parcel C, over at the seaport. We're doing 18 stories over there. We'll pump all the way up there without having to bring any material, any dry, unmixed materials into the into the building. Well, I think that guys appreciate not having to load bags into a hopper, one bag at a time, 50 pounds with all the dust and everything that you're eating with this machine. It has a vacuum system, it's very clean, it's much healthier for the guys, there's a lot less manual labor, and the speed is incredible. We would have been here for, I don't know, maybe two or three days with a smaller pump trying to achieve this, not to mention having to get the material in the building. This morning we came up, the site was preloaded with material outside, pulled the truck up, ran the hoses in, and as you can see we're pumping, um, we started pumping an hour and a half after, after we showed up on the, on the site. We would never have been able to have poured this much material in four hours with any other delivery system that I've ever seen. I wouldn't go back to the, the old bag treatment. Uh, we have done it, like I say, with the buckets. We've actually had some mixers that they brought in a portable machine and they mixed it by bag. That's just as bad as doing it by the bucket. Your mixes are inconsistent. This is over today. Allegheny's been great, but glad to see you go. 